So let's say I collect some data, and the data I collect is I go around the car park and I count the cars of different colours. Okay, so I'm looking at for the number of cars that are red, the number of cars that are green, and the number of cars that are yellow. And so they only have these three colour choices. It's not very imaginative, but just run with it. And this is the way that I record it. I'm just writing down R for red, G for green, and Y for yellow. And what I want to do is I want to collate this data, and I'm going to collate it into a tally chart. So with my tally, I'm looking at the red for the first bit. So I've got two reds, and I can represent that with two vertical lines, then two greens, then I've got a yellow. Okay, so that's the first row done. Then I've got another yellow. Then I've got a green. Then I've got three reds. So I go one, two, and then when I reach five here, I put a diagonal line through the bunch. Okay, and it bunches up the five into fives. Makes it very easy to count. Then I've got another two reds. So I start another bunch. Then I've got a yellow, two greens, so one and then two, so I've wrapped up that bunch as well. A yellow, and then four reds. One, two, three, four. Okay? And so, what we have here is that two bunches of five and an extra one. A, a bunch of five, and then I've got four for yellow. So, I can then write in a frequency column into the tally chart. And frequency is a posh maths word meaning how many. So here I have 5, 10 and 11. 5 and 4. And that is how a tally chart works. Okay? You need to make sure you're happy with tallying like we do here. And then converting that into a frequency column.